Hey everybody, happy July 5th. Um, <coughs> I'm still coughing. I coughed in the May team talk, the June team talk, and now this is the July one. I'm hoping the vacation gets rid of my cough. So, welcome everybody. We have a lot to cover. A lot to cover. Hey, Sasha. Um, we are going to go through transition, especially for those who have never went through transition before. Um, we do it twice a year, uh, the month before the new catalog launches. So, um, and each catalog is six months long. <coughs> so, um, there's a lot. This is a crazy, ugh, this month is insane. Hey. Oh, there he is. Um, so... For those of you who know George's story, um, I was sitting on the couch and George was sitting next to me and all of a sudden I saw this movement, this black fluffy movement. And I saw there was this little kitten, black and really fluffy, that had just walked into my house and just looked at me and went, hi. And he just kind of turned around and went back outside. And then George sat by the, oh, can't see it here, by the doggy door or the cat door, it's a big doggy door, but I leave it open all the time because I don't think George knows how to use the, like to push the flap, um, so it's always open. Well, and I'm like, no, 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 no. So if you know the story of George, you understand why I'm in a state of panic. Um, when I go to Alaska, when I come home, I might have extra cats in my house. <coughs> Far out. I can't believe it. Um, 8.33. All right. I'm going to get started. So let's go through. <coughs> excuse me. Yay. Um, let's go through first what's all happening this month. Then I'll go through kind of transition stuff. I should be okay now. Ah, there we are. Um, my alarm went off, so I didn't fall asleep or forget or chase cats or something. All right. So in workstation, there's this, this form, um, it's under training tab, but it's, and it's also pinned to the top of the team page and it's called planning ahead July, 2022. They're going to do this for us now every month. Now, the other thing, if you watch the end of the month live, not everything's on here because they want to surprise us with stuff. So if you looked at it, you know Alice in Wonderland isn't on there. They did tell us that nothing was going to happen while we were on our trip. Um, <coughs> however, they might do something before I'm officially back on the 21st because it takes me longer to get back than it does the Americans, obviously. So... Um, so what's going on? If you are on my personal team members, you get this little mini newsletter text to you two to three times a month, and it's to help you take all the chaos and just put it into bullet points so that you can choose, decide, pick and choose what's important, what you want to find out more information on, um, and kind of just feel a little bit more organized instead of going to the, this team page or to workstation sometimes. So if you aren't my personal team member and you don't get that text, but you really would like it, again, in a pinned post, you might have to go a couple to the right. Um, it shows a blue speech bubble kind of thing. Um, you can add your name in there and I'll add you to the list. Um, I do have several people that aren't my personal teamies that enjoy those, those lists. Um, so just let me know. If your sponsor is doing that for you, fantastic. If she's not, let me know and I will be happy to send it to you. It just helps. During COVID, things got really crazy and LTOs started becoming a thing, limited time offers. So much. It was. It, I know if I'm overwhelmed and I live and breathe this every day, I can only imagine what you guys that do this kind of, you know, as a hobby or here and there or for personal use what that feels like so um it's a lot this month is a lot so 
from the 1st through the 31st of this month. I'm going to just rattle it down. <coughs> this goes all month long, okay? Uh, it's the last month for part three of the Brick by Brick Incentive. If you have more questions about that, go to the Incentive tab on your workstation. If you still don't get it, let me know. It's all about Scentsy Club right now. Um, July, almost everything in the current catalog, which is, I was making up recruiting packets today, current catalog, every, almost everything in there is 10% off. There are certain bundles that aren't, and there's licensed products that aren't. Um, so that's usually where the almost comes in. Anything that's on the discontinued list that came out this month, almost, once again, is 20% off. That's the first time they've ever done this. Um, again, the licensed products are not. I quick had a, had a quick look at that. So, um, But this is a great way. You can create your own bundles. Don't use the, the licensed stuff like Disney. But you can create your own bundles on Canva or whatever design program that you use and you can create your own little bundles for people at that 20% off, you know? So some people don't have the vision of what something can look like together and they like the idea of a warmer and a bar or a warmer and three bars or whatever, but you can take that um, and everything is 10% off as far as the almost in the catalog, which means this buy five, get one free is on sale, air purifiers on sale, everything's on sale. So go and make use of those sales. Obviously right now we're pumping the flash sale. Don't get me started people. We're gonna pump the, the flash sale tomorrow. But then as the weekend happens, spend some time and really showcase and show people what's on sale. Remember no screenshots of any of the licensed products off of your PWS or anything like that. You can only use the licensed pictures that are in workstation or that are shared in any of those albums that we have. Um, <coughs> the other thing I'm gonna let you know of, you may have noticed, you may have not, depending on how social media savvy and how often you're on social media, but they have something new that we could update our groups where the most recent post is at the top. So even if people comment on it, it stays, it, it doesn't move up. So you'll notice with the ring the bell one, it's not moving, but people are ringing their bells because they got orders today. Um, but that was something that I thought I re we really needed in the group because otherwise people are liking posts and commenting on posts from five years ago and all of a sudden they're in the top of the thing again. So. Um, again, when you have new consultants, make sure that you are tagging them in the new consultant album. I will be redoing these shortly because I'm going to have to do a USA one and a, or a region one, one and a region, um, three, one. So anyway, so catalog 10% off, 20% off discontinue this. If you've been in Sensi for a while, you are going to, and I'd say a while would be the catalog season. So six months, um, go to the sales tab on workstation and there's one that says um, promotion, campaign, promotion, can't remember. Um, but you can print out a discontinued list. So this is everybody that's purchased something on the current discontinued list. I have 14 pages of this. So I have to contact each one of these people and let them know that something that they loved or something that they ordered is being discontinued at the end of the month. If it's a bar, they need to add it to Scentsy Club. So this is how you have the conversations about Scentsy Club. I know I had one today with somebody because she's like, oh my gosh, I need to order like 12 of those. I said, or you could order like three and get them shipped every three months and then you don't, never have to worry about stacking up. She's like, well, that's a really good idea. I'm like, yeah. So... Um, I've paper clipped this and I'm actually taking it on holiday with me <laughs> because there's no way I'm going to get this all done. I remember when I went to Mexico, I took my discontinued list with me to Mexico and I was texting people at night while sitting at, in my little kitchen table in Mexico 
and people are like, are you on vacation? I'm like, yeah, but I'm awake and so are you. So I'm texting, I'm messaging people. So it all worked. But so don't forget to run that sales report and let people know it is a customer service from you. If you're not doing this for your customers, you are really doing a disservice to them and to yourself. Um, you know, when there's things that you love, whether it's lipstick or paint or you can tell what I buy, um, skincare products or nail colors and they discontinue it, but nobody freaking let you knew. If you would have known, you would have bought a case. Same idea. Be nice and do good work and go let your people know things are leaving. Um, and why not take every day to highlight something from the discontinued list and talk about it? You can find pictures, you can Google, you can use the albums that we have in the team page of the live products and things. So, all right. Um, the other thing, all Scentsy Club orders in July will get a free scent pack. So this is random. I know in mine, I can see that they sent a, um, a black raspberry vanilla. Hi, Jessalyn. Um, so <coughs> you might have to catch up in the beginning. Um, from what I was talking about afterwards. Um, so you can't pick what the pack is. It just all of a sudden shows up in the order. So they sent me a black raspberry and vanilla one. That's all I know. I'm like, Bleh. but I, it will make a great gift or someone will want it because everybody loves that scent, but me, um, the flash sale, oh, July scent of the month and warmer of the quarter is 10% off this month as well. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to Scent of the Month or Warmer of the Quarter yet, you can do that under the Accounts tab in Workstation um, so that you get things before it actually releases. So, um, And it's always nice because I usually end up selling, you get eight bars and a bunch of stickers. And, um, and if it's a Warmer of the Quarter, you get the Warmer as well. <coughs> but it allows you to sample things proactively and sell the product because people like it and they, and they already have some bars on hand. So it's really nice. Or you can split it with somebody. Um, if you choose to, it's going to come off of one person's account, but it's up to you. Um, so the 24 hour flash sale was a big mess up as you saw. So that is tomorrow through the seventh. Um, bring back my bar voting was also supposed to start today to the eighth. I don't know if it did. I didn't look. I was too busy putting out fires with the other thing. Please hold. No, it's not. So it must be also coming tomorrow. <laughs> Bring back my bar voting. So this is a time where you can only vote on websites, but you get all your customers, all your friends, all your family, you to vote. And you can vote every like five minutes. So if there's something that's on that list that you know your customers love or want to make sure they know to go vote. It's only for a couple days, but those are the winners that come back. These were the winners last time, right? Um, Sunday the 10th through, I think it's Thursday the 21st of July. Oh, first let's say 7th. 7th to the 9th of July is SFR. 7th is leadership. 8th and 9th is SFR. Um, so don't forget to tune into that if you purchased or registered virtually for that or if you're in the Gold Coast area and you want to walk in, they are taking walk-ins. So feel free to go there and go have some fun. This is the first in-person event that I'm missing and I am... I don't regret it now that I saw what happened after America's America's SFR because everybody freaking had COVID, which is why I didn't go because I didn't want to hurt my chances of being able to get on the ship to go to Alaska, which is a day after. Um, so that was why I chose to do virtual. So a couple of us are getting together um, <clears throat> in Christchurch. Um, but if you have your team and you want to get together or have a couple people at your place. I know Kirsty has babies and little ones and things like that. So if you have babies and little ones and maybe, you know, you can connect with Kirsty or something like that. So um, don't be afraid to reach out and make something fun happen um, and take lots of pictures. 
um, <coughs> the 10th through the 21st, I'm away on my incentive, my all expense paid incentive trip to Alaska. Um, me and Janice are. Um, but since he's giving us free Wi-Fi on the ship as an extra perk, and I tend to be on my phone even when I'm at port, um, and I want to do some live so that you guys can be involved and see things and ask questions and go along with the ride for us as well. You'll see a lot of Scentsy people probably behind me on their phones doing the same thing. Um, there's nothing like good marketing when you're on a free trip. Um, but it's also to take you guys with me so that you don't miss a trip ever again. Uh, I will be checking messages. They just might not be checked as quickly. Um, and Kathy Pabst, because she's already set as an admin so that she could schedule her posts um, for uh, birthdays. I was like, is she birthday or anniversary? Um, <coughs> um, she's going to kind of keep an eye on the team page for me as well. So she's kind of my director co-director while I'm gone. Um, and so please please behave, please keep everything positive and solution based and not Hank, what did I say today? Angry and what I don't remember what I said. I was feeling some things this morning. Boy, that took some restraint. Uh, wisdom of a director. But as you saw, my big mouth helps. <laughs> um, uh, I don't complain often. So they know when I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> anyway, so, okay. Um, the first of the 31st, we also have transition business supplies on sale. And then we also have, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. And then we have the Sensi starter kit at 50% off. So in New Zealand, I went through and added everything up. I couldn't add, I don't know how much the tote bag is, but with everything in the kit, it was over 430 New Zealand dollars plus the insulated tote bag. So I don't know what that tote bag's worth, but I added that up and they're only paying $85. When people see the list of what you get in your order, that's exactly why Belinda joined. She was like, okay. Like, even if they do nothing and they use everything... I, you're getting so much wax because you're getting all the current scents, plus you're getting the transition scents. So even if they did nothing and were a kidnapper, that's a, that's basically a cube of wax for every single tester pot. So, um, but they have all the things that they can use or they can, they can use it for demo or they can use it for themselves or they can gift it, whatever the heck they want to do with it. But why not offer it? Um, it's a great deal. I don't ever remember them doing that before. And that's a way better deal than that, that little itty bitty kit that they had last month. I, I, yeah. So, um, the other thing that was on here was the 20th of July, we have the Wally -E collection coming and the Moana collection. The 26th is the All Is Well Wax Collection. Some of you probably ordered the, we could order two packs of those early. So um, you can make samples and get those out in Happy Mail and get them ready to go so that when they finally release that they're there. And then the 26th of July, also the Father's Day Collection. Um, all right. <clears throat> so. Transition. So right now. I just want to make sure I have this. Oh, that's the other thing. New season sale kits are going to be, I have so many things paper clipped in front of me. I'm trying to stay organized before I leave, man. Holy crap. Okay. Business tools. Um, you simply go, you just put all as well in your individual order. Um, and I suggest attaching it to the part of an open party. And that's how I ordered mine. I just put all as well in workstation. It'll allow you to order two sets. Um, if you want two sets and, um, before they launch on the 26th. Yes. Um, all right. Spring, summer, 2022. That's the new catalog that's coming or that you've seen. 
<laughs> the dog on the porch. Um, at, those catalogs are 10% off now. You're welcome. Um, till the end of July. So like when I go and I did my order, transition month, I just do an order on the first and it's got three to four packs of catalogs because I, I send out at least one pack by mail um, to all my, I have a 22 right now, Scentsy Clubber, so they automatically get one and they get all the new scents and everything like samples of all the new scents. But um, I usually have quite a few parties that I'll have booked and things like that as well. So I tend to get three to four packs. Now I earned, um, any of you that earned level two, part two of the incentive, you're going to get a whole pack of things for free. So you're going to get ca a pack of catalogs and you're going to get the mini, the testers and the stickers and the, you'll get all the things. So, <coughs> but this is if you're ordering off the, I do too. Um, if you're, if you're ordering your supplies. So the new catalogs are 10% off the transition sets. So you have your full set that you should have now, but then there's a transition set. So when you look at testers in the in the store, make sure it says spring summer 2022 transition set, not full set, transition set. I think they were maybe $19, something like that. Um, so you get all the new fragrances. Now I always order extra because I always have a bag party that I need to swap out the scents for as well. So those are 20% off right now. Um, then you have the spring summer 2022 complete tester sets. Um, I don't think those are on sale. You have the spring and summer 2022 individual testers. So some people like to order a whole bunch of the individual ones <clears throat> and do little packets with their customers. It's up to you. Um, the new transition business tools kit, which is a great, if you're just starting out, this is a great kit because it provides all the tools that you'll need to launch a successful season of sales um, and team building. So you get one pack of catalogs, a pack of um, product lists, um, a transition set and a product training guide. I love product training guides because I usually put them with my bag parties. But when I don't know about a new product, like say the travel twist, that's probably gonna be in the new product training guide. And I won't know what to say about it exactly. I use what's in the product training guide to write my posts on social media because I'm like, oh yeah, that's a good point because it has features and benefits in it so that you are learning about the product, but it helps you educate and entice your customers. <coughs> um, and you can be, you can get several of those. You can buy as many of those kits as you want. Um, there is a discontinued products promotional flyer. Um, which I've already loaded into the team page, but it is as a PDF in the thing as well. So the autumn winter 2022, our current catalog, the fragrance, fragrance tester sets are unavailable. The new season sales kits are available. Um, get your hands on select new catalog products, home scent, laundry, clean, and body before they're available to your customers and be ready to rock those early August parties. Plus, you'll earn PRV on each kit available starting the 1st of July. Um, now, the home season sales kit, um, which is the warmers, is $386 and 210 PRV. <coughs> it's basically a party order. That one's available the 7th of July. Um, that one's on a little bit of delay, apparently. Um, the scent new season sales kit is 110. You get all the new bars, so that's 60 PRV. Um, the laundry new season sales kit is 64.50. You get 35 PRV. You get all the um, fluffy fleece laundry products. The clean new season sales kit is 51.75. It's 28 PRV, and you get all the vanilla mint cleaning products. And then we have the body new season sales kit, which is 71.50 and it's 39 PRV. And that is vanilla waves and all the things so that are body. Now, as I've been telling you guys month after month and catalog after catalog, that open party that's in your on your PWS or that you've set up in workstation, but it's through your PWS or however you want to do it. 
for like basically two, one to two months before we're allowed to buy these. So I started this party with the intention of not touching it until the 1st of August so that all that host credit can build up. And so now I have like, I don't know many hundreds of dollars of stuff and half price items that I have. So I tend not to get the sales kits because I really try not to spend money on Scentsy. Um, I just do. I, I, I'd rather spend my money on something else and I'm okay waiting <coughs> um, because I'll have catalogs and I'll have testers and it's fine. Um, you don't need all the new things all the time if that's not in your budget. So I did order the laundry new season kit because first, I love that scent and second of all, my laundry people always want to know what's the new scent for laundry. So, um, so that's one of the, and fluffy blanket was one of the, or fuzzy blanket was one of those scents we didn't have very long. It was like an LTO or something that we had. So, um, so if you work your open parties, right, especially before catalogs, you like right now, because of flash sale, you get as many people attaching their orders to that open party so that Next month, when the new catalog launches, maybe you'll get be able to get some things for free that you couldn't this month, or things like that. So, work work that open party. Work that open party. Um, and I will be relabeling mine tonight. Flash sale part or sale parties. Um, flash sale orders here, something like that, or sale orders here, something like that. Um, let's see. We went over that. Went over that. Um, any questions on that stuff? So what happens is on the, <coughs> the last week of, um, July is when we usually say, we usually try to schedule or recommend you schedule a last chance first glance. I have a very, very tiny place. I'm looking at the back wall of my place and that's the front door. So just to give you an idea how small my place is. Um, so I always do it online but I smell all the new scents with them and give them my opinion. I show them what's leaving and what's coming. Um, I would do a catalog walkthrough for them. Um, if you're fortunate enough to have a place where you can have people over, you know, and have some snacks and basically have the catalog, have some snacks, have a goodie bag or something for them and have them come and just hang out with you and smell the new scents. And they can place orders for the old catalog before the end of the month, but they can also place an order with you to order on the 1st of August so that you're starting off right away with a bang um, with some PRV. But it's a way that people can order from both catalogs, but you can't put the orders through until the beginning of, of August, all right? So, um, but it's a great, it's a great way to get that um, relationship building with your customers as well. Um, <coughs> I think I did, um, last, the last one was with Peter that I did and everybody tuned in to see Peter. Um, what else did I want to tell you about? Please feel free to ask any questions as I'm rambling. Um, oh, so one of the things that always comes up is what do we do with the old testers or what do we do with the old catalogs or product sheets well, you could throw them away if you really wanted to them, or if you have a burn barrel, you could burn them. Um, however, I am somebody which I really need to empty out my car at this point because I have a stack over there of the last catalog, and there's a catalog before that. There's a bunch in my car. Um, and on the front, it'll say something like, this catalog, what does it say? This one is old, but here's what to do. Con contact me today, and I'll show you what's new. So I put this little, I, I glue this to the front of every catalog and I will go and dump them in people's letter boxes. I'll put them in fish and chip shops. I'll drop some off at the doctor's office or the physio or wherever there's a stack of magazines. Um, so it's good to have them in the car in case you're going somewhere and you just want to leave something somewhere with your details on it, but you can use them. The other thing about testers, um, a lot of people... There's a couple testers I leave on my computer to smell all the time. <laughs> um, Palo Santo, most of you will like throw up when I say that. Um, but I just love the smell of that one. Anyway, um, you can put magnets on the back of it, the little magnets, and you can use them as refrigerator magnets. Um, you can put some in a little bag. 
um, and give them as a gift with purchase because people can take the lid off and put them upside down in their mini warmer. And as it melts out, they just have to remove the plastic container. Um, they can dig it out and things like that too. But there's also a label for that. I don't think that one's here. Do I have that one here? I don't see that one here. But it basically talks about reusing these. Um, every time I give them away at um, our holiday open house, People love them. Um, I always think they're weird. Like, oh, really? Do they really want these? I get compliments on them. Oh, are we getting more of those testers? Those are so nice. I'm like, yeah, okay. So I've just learned that people love them. Um, and they know they're discontinued and they don't care. The other thing is uh, there's a video I have somewhere, um, probably in the team page, if you put in Scentsy Game or it's probably what it's under, Party Game, something like that. Um, you take, um, you can take either the washer with container like this, if you want to make it harder, or you can take the big tub and you have two teams in the living room and they each have a bag of mini testers by them. And one by one for two minutes, one by one, they have to put the tester between their legs and waddle down to the bucket and try to drop it without using their hands in the bucket. And then they have to run back and then the next person comes. Um, and then whoever wins gets all the mini testers to sort amongst themselves um, and they can keep the testers. So that's always a really fun party game if you have people that are fun. Some people are duds, but you know, you work with them because my job is to entertain. I go into every party pretending it's my stand-up comedy. I finally get to do stand-up comedy. That's how I look at every single every single thing. Um, so last chance, first glance, um, make sure this month. Ah, great. Um, I just did this in my newsletter that I sent out. I said, I have a bag party sitting here. If somebody wants to babysit it while I'm away and I had somebody say, I'll do it. Can I do mine if I have it for more than a week? And I said, Oh, thanks Sasha. Um, and I said, yeah, I'll be gone from the 10th to the 21st. You can have it the whole time. And she's an ex-consultant. Um, she's like, all right, my goal is to get 925 in sales. I'm like, dude, do that because you get way more product for free and shipping drops to 10%. So, um, so I put everything together for her, but she knows that there's 10% off almost everything in the catalog, 20% off the discontinued list, she knows that there's things in the collections. She knows, like, this is a great month for someone to have a bag party. And a bag party is literally, I, I should probably show you just quickly. I'm in my pajama bottom, so don't judge. Hi, George. So my bag party, some people give product. I don't. Um, I just feel weird about it, so I don't. If somebody really needs it, I'll do it. Um, so I have one of these little packets with a little string closure and in it, I have samples. I have <coughs> a couple discontinue lists. I have order forms. I have catalogs. I have notes to check certain things. I have recruiting information, a scent circle, um, catalogs, product sheets, like it, love it sheets are in here. Um, I'm sure, did Ange Russell already do the next ones? If not, I'm sure she's working on them. Um, make sure that you give Ange Russell some love for doing this all the time for us. Um, she, I have seen so many people do our Like It, Love It sheets and none of them compare to Ange's. <laughs> none of them. They all aren't as clean and tidy and legible. Um, even finding ones for my mom in America is a mission every catalog for me to find some for her. Um, and so I've already asked Ange if, she, if I can pair off for doing them when I'm in America. Um, Cause I'll be able to imagine the things I can send you for gifts, you know, bricks and room spray and scents we don't have. So the prices might be getting better and easier to shop for. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so I give them this packet. It's got my little sticker down there. Um, and then I have, I give them this bag. Um, and I just let them know not to put it in the sun 
but if you haven't seen these bags, they're in the consultant store. I think there's some on clearance right now too. It's insulated, so in the summer, I usually put an ice pack in there, but each little bag has its own little, so that's a citrus, that's the citrus group. So it has little wedges for every single scent category. Um, so that is how that bag looks. I have a black one and I have this one. So um, I'll be taking these with me when I go. Uh, so, <coughs> so that's all I give them. I don't give them anything else. They have everything they need. They can smell everything. They can check everything. They can order whatever. The party link is open. So if they want to shop online or she knows people from somewhere else in New Zealand, they can. But this is a great month for people to get um, people together. The other thing is you need to start booking August parties because the first person in the circle who books the first party with the friends usually gets the most host rewards because everybody wants the new scents and the new warmers and the new things. So, you know, I really market it that way. Like, all right, who's the first one of your friends that's going to host a party to get all, you know, to see everything new first. Um, it does work. So, um, and you can play them against each other. Just saying. Oh, I have some warm tea for my throat. Um, so you're going to switch out old testers, use old catalog. Okay. Does anybody have any, um, any questions from that? I actually zoomed my way through that. Um, don't forget that in the flash sale, if they order over, what is it, 180 something dollars? 150, 180, 180. Um, oh, thank you. Funny story. Notice all my funny stories um, have Earl involved in them. This mug actually broke, the handle broke off of it. I don't remember how I dropped it or what happened. But Earl works somewhere and they have this amazing glue or adhesive. He's like, can I try to fix it? I said, sure. So now I feel like I have to take it with me. Um, it doesn't say that thing about the flash though. Probably because they didn't know we were having one. Usually before every new catalog, there's a flash sale because they have to make room in the warehouse for all the new stuff coming in. Um, but seriously, don't forget to do your discontinued list. If you have one, don't forget to actually freaking do them as well. Um, this month has so much happening and so much going for it. If you choose to share about it, you know, do you have a business page made? Do you have maybe a VIP group made? Do you have an email? Like literally, email, text, private message, posting, Instagram, posting, um, VIP group, posting business page, but they're very much part of my normal routine now, but they weren't always, I had to train myself and I definitely used, um, the 90 day slay, which is in, um, I'm, I'm positive it's in the files because I preach about it all the time. So, um, we have a new, did I tell you about the new Happy Mail program? Um, I'm probably going to start it this month, but paid at title, that one, the lightning bolts still haven't come. Um, so I'm still waiting on the lightning bolts. But instead of all the postcards, you're going to maybe get one or two. Um, but you're going to get this postcard. Um, and there's different ways you're going, you can earn patches. So be on the lookout because it's going to sound fun. So basically it says, I'm so proud of you for your hard work, for pushing excuses and fear aside and going out and making people smile last month. Your sharing and caring earned you a patch or patches that you can put on a jacket or a bag, pin to them, pin them to, on a bulletin board or display them in any fun way that rocks your world. I would love to see how you display your patches. Feel free to post the pic on our team page. So we have these and these are some of the patches right now. Um, so um, that'll be starting soon as well. Um, any questions so far? <coughs> so I, 
let me know if you have questions. Um, there was a clear thank you to everybody. Seriously, I know it took a little coercing and a little reminding and things like that, but I am so grateful for everybody that took a minute to vote for Wonder Woman of the Year. Um, if we ever have a guy, it's Woe Man of the Year, W H O A hyphen man, because um, I would really love to have some more guys on our team. Um, but um, the, we only had like two until I really started talking about it. And then Kathy talked about it and Sarah talked about it because they were previous. Now you couldn't vote for previous winners. And I know a couple of you did. Um, but that's okay because I'll still send them the letters so that they know what you said about them. Um, there was a clear winner. And in my head, the top two that were voted for were the two in my head that I was thinking of. So um, that made me feel good because I'm like, yay, everybody's noticing and seeing what I'm seeing. So um, so I just want to say thank you for taking the time. Um, I don't know if the winner is on here, but I do have the trophy. Um, so the Wonder Woman of the Year will get this trophy this year. And then I do a plaque with a lot of the... Um, um, certain words that people describe them as. I do something like that and then I do another kind of picture as well for them. And I send them the letters so that they can see for themselves what people said about them. So on that note, the 2022 Wonder Woman of the Year. I'm going to just read some things before I tell you. So the first thing I'm going to read because I have to put more paper in the thing. I love her positive and honest approach to sharing Sensi. She shows honesty and integrity and that she has a heart that cares for others. She shares without reserves and gives without wanting anything in return. She is all of the above and she is such a lovely person. So that's the first one. Second one is she has inspired me by her positive attitude to every question, to every question I have asked since I started a year ago. She is so passionate about Sensi. She is an amazing woman and has always been there to help. Next one. Right from the start, she has encouraged me with fundraisers and helped me see that they are possible. This person has shared all her knowledge and templates with me, which has made my life so much easier since I am formatting challenged. <laughs> me too. Um, from the moment I met her, she has been friendly, kind, and helpful. To me, she is the epitome of Sensi Spirit and is enthusiastic, kind, and helpful. I know that she also gives back to her local community and supports the group she helps fundraise by getting the word out far and wide. The next one. She's always looking at ways to expand her business, sharing that what works with her team. She's humble, giving, generous of spirit, and keeps things simple when explaining them to people with questions. This person gives of herself and expects nothing in return. She just wants help. She wants to help people succeed. That's such an awesome quality and very rare. And very rare. Here's a big. Here's a big hint. Plus, I love her dog Mater. Me too. Next one. She's always so cheerful, so kind and considerate. She gets on with the job, no fuss. And if she has found a little gem that has worked for her, she jumps on and shares her news with excitement, enthusiasm, and willingness to help you achieve the same results. She is so willing to share her ideas, sharing results, always ready to offer solutions that have worked for her. Always cheering fellow wonder bar wonderbarians on, whether it is a goal they're trying to reach, stepping out of their comfort zone, or smashing those numbers that they needed to. And the last one. She inspires me by sharing her ideas. She demonstrates the sense of values 
by sharing equals giving, which helps people work smarter, not harder, harder and allows them to enjoy family life. And why do you think she deserves this award? Because she is willing to help others to improve their Scentsy business. So, the 2022 Wonder Woman of the Year, thank you again for all of your nomination letters, um, is Sonia O'Neill. Congratulations, Sonia. You definitely were on the top of my list as well. So, um, every the other nominations, just in case you want to know. Um, the other nominations were Lucy Harrison um, and Rachel Mullins. You will all get your letters. Um, we had a couple for Annette, which was a previous previous uh, winner. Uh, Vicki O'Donohue and Kirsty Hayward. So thank you for taking time to write about these amazing consultants. Um, not everybody has to be a heavy hitter or has to have big numbers, or has to do amazing, brilliant, explosive things in this business, but everybody can be kind, and sharing, and caring, and giving, and positive, and helpful, and thinking of others, and I value these people, because I personally can't take care of you over 200 people. So that's why leaders need to take care of their people. I take care of them and they take care of them and they take care of them. So that's kind of how <clears throat> this kind of all usually works the best. But there are people where I still have to come in because maybe their sponsors kind of checked out or not really interested in that or, or whatever the reason. And so, um, so the more help and the more sharing and the more contributing and the more engaging that people are, the better the community, the better the team, the better the consultants, and it's a better vibe in here. You know, um, I worked really hard and I kicked people out in the beginning and I'm really strict on the positivity, even though I totally understand how you're feeling. Um, this morning was one of those times where I saw people <laughs> that I've never heard of, not in here, somewhere else, um, complaining and I was just like, I bet you I texted more people and contacted more people and put in, I was probably texting people for five hours yesterday and I still spent a couple hours on the newsletter the night before. And do you know what I mean? Like whatever you're feeling, I'm usually feeling times 10 because of the size of my business, but also because I know you got, like, I don't want you to be upset. So, so please know I always have your back, um, as long as you're doing good things. And, um, if there's words to be had, I will fight. I will fight for, to the death with Sensi. Um, and they know I don't complain very often. So if I do complain, I'm like, mm, you better check yourself. Um, because they are an amazing company. They always try to make everything right. And I was really glad that they took the feedback, um, real quickly and, um, got it all approved and could get the little bit of help that we needed just in case people were still going to the website. So, um, all right. Is there anything else that anybody has questions on or needs to talk about? Unless you want to come on, I can invite you on too. And then you can talk <laughs> to everybody. Um, I do want to give a special quick shout out to Jocelyn Russell. Um, if I had to design a new consultant that was ticking all the boxes and getting my attention, I've told her sponsor, Vicki, this. It's Jocelyn. Um, <clears throat> I hear from Vicki that Jocelyn, you're, you're shy. <laughs> but you've always been able to chat back and forth with me. You have jumped into Sensi. You are one of our top contributors in the last month, which means you have added more to this team page by being in it than a lot of other people have. And you're new and you don't know anybody and you're new to Sensi and this is all new. And you have done 
so so well and I'm so proud of you but I also just want to say thank you for being such a big part of it so quickly um, some people don't engage that fast <laughs> or that often um, and it's just a good amount like it's just you're doing amazing and I just wanted to give you a little shout out because um, you are setting the tone and the example and I appreciate it so um, and thank you for everybody that tuned in tonight uh, I think that's it for now um, since I don't see any questions coming in, look at me under an hour. What? Crazy. All right. Um, congratulations again to Sonia O'Neill, and I'll get those things made um, and probably sent out after I get back. Um, but yeah. Good night, everybody. Have a freaking amazing month. Have an amazing um, flash sale. Also, this when I get back, if you don't like the idea of having the team page newest things first, just let me know because I'm open to feedback on that one. Because you know, I was like, do I like it? Don't I like it? I like it, but mm, do I? Um, anything important, I'm just going to pin at the top right away so that people don't lose it, but you might have to scroll a little bit, um, now because everything will be in time and date order. So, um, for me, that helps my brain. <laughs> All right. Um, you'll still be seeing me and I can't wait to see you, Rachel, on Friday. All right, everybody. Good night.